Welcome back to How to BIM. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create the new Topo Solids in Revit 2024, either from scratch, from an older version Revit file, from a CSV, and how to modify your Topo Solids. So let's get started. So the first thing to do is launching Revit 2024. You will go to New and create a, a new project for this tutorial. So if you don't already have Revit 2024, you can install it uh, following the steps in the video uh, linked in the description or on the right top of the screen. But first I'm going to uh, change the units for my project to meters. If you're interested in learning how to model with Revit, whether structure, architecture or MEP, please Tell me in the comment section, we could create tutorials about that if you guys are interested. But for now, we're going to start exploring the Topo Solids feature. So first, we can either create from Sketch or we can create from an import. But the first thing I want to show you is how to um, turn an old topography and an older version of Revit to a Topo Solids. Let's find a file that we could work with. It'll take a while to uh, upgrade the model from Revit 2022 to 2024. And this is our topography, as you can see. Now we want to uh, turn this one into a topo solid. We'll select it and then go to generate topo solid. We can choose the uh, base level or the family. In the family option, we only have one option in here. As you can see, we have created our topo solids. Well, the main difference between these uh, two um, these two features in Revit is that the Topo Solids function as a family system, so you can edit it and customize it. But for now, as you can see, the topography wasn't removed, so we're we're gonna need to tab and select it, the one on top, and then delete it. Okay, and now we only have our new uh, Topo Solid that we just generated now we can edit it for example go to edit type and we can change the um, material so it looks more like a piece of land so let's go and choose for example earth yes okay and now we have our uh, topo solid okay now we will we will go to the next step of this tutorial which is uh, creating it from uh, a sketch so let's just delete this one close this file and go back to the first file we have created okay now we will go to massing inside topo solid and create from sketch and we will start uh, creating our sketch so let's just choose a shape to draw or the boundary lines that start with a basic rectangle and uh, check it okay let's go to our 3d view okay now it looks more like a floor than uh, just uh, than a topo solid so let's just go and edit it and change the material to earth for example Okay, so uh, change the uh, display options to realistic so it looks more like a land. Yeah, that's way better. Okay, the next thing to do is to try to uh, modify the sketch because this looks a bit too uh, straight for a piece of land. So let's just try to add some dynamic shapes because why not? This is a uh, modeling uh, tutorial, so we could go as crazy as we want to with our dynamic shapes for this piece of land. Hopefully we don't get a very weird shape. Now we could switch to lines. I think I'm going back to the arcs. Sorry, I'm taking too long. Okay, I think that's fine, that's fine. We could work with that. Okay, now we have created the outline or the contour of our topo solid. Now we need to add some elevations to it. So let's select our uh, topo solid again. 
and then go to modify sub elements now the line uh, the points will appear the points of the uh, outline of our sketch will appear so we could simply drag the points up or down to create the elevation we could also uh, select the um, select the point and then add the uh, amount of elevation we want for that would work yes let's try to make it more realistic the shape is coming off but it's still weird i don't remember ever seeing a piece of land that looks like that okay now let's start adding points in the middle of our uh sketch or our topo solid so we have two options whether we want the elevation base to be either project internal or whichever option we could choose from that triangle or we could offset it from the surface so once we offset it from the surface, it will, for example, go 0 0.5 meters. So you see there isn't much elevation. But once we choose the other option, which is absolute elevation, it will, you can see the elevation. Actually, it went down now because it will, uh, the, uh, the elevation will start counting from the base of the uh, top of solid. As you can see, it went down. Yeah, now we can get it back because that looks way better. Yes. Okay, turn off the absolute option and obviously if you're not satisfied with the results, you can simply reset it. Now when we view our model, we can see the lines inside it, which are called uh, contour lines. The cool thing about Topo Solids is I can uh, customize and modify everything. So for example, I'm going to edit and then go to contour display. And for example, I don't want to see my contour lines in this project, so I'm just going to turn them off apply okay apply okay and as you can see i could view my model being like a cool 3d shape with no contour lines i wouldn't say cool it's a weird 3d shape with a contour with no contour lines for example i want to create um, more lines or i want to uh, customize the existent lines so i'm gonna go back to edit type contour display edit and then I could change the start, the stop, or I could insert a new one and specify the subcategory. For example, I want it to be secondary contour, primary, folding line, split line, and uh, so on. Uh, and this is a reminder to show you how to create split lines. Let's go to a split line. And you could either connect two lines with it or two points with it, or you could connect it with the edges. Assuming I want to view not only my contour lines, but also each point in my project. Well, in larger projects, it is not prefer it's not preferable to view all your points because that's going to look too messy. But for this uh, landscape project, we don't have that many points, so we could view them. And uh, as I have shown you earlier with the contour uh, lines, we could select these and change the elevation of our points. Let's select the uh, topo solid. Go modify sub elements, swipe it up or down to change the elevation. Or uh, for example, if you want to change uh, the location of the point without editing the Z coordinates, you could just go to the modify uh, tab and go and choose the uh, move uh, tool and move its location. Okay, now let's just select our topo solid again and, uh, and check the preview point because we don't need them anymore. Select it again. I think I'm going to remove the control lines as well because we don't need them. Go to control display and just check both control lines. <laughs> now I'm going to show you how to create a subdivision, which is technically another layer that that's going to get slapped on top of your uh, original topo solid so go to subdivide choose the shape of your subdivision uh, i'm going with a circle because this already looks weird enough let's add more circles let's try to find the right place to add it here for example this is fine let's just select it and move it closer to the edge And yes, that's fine. There it is, our subdivision. 
you cannot merge it with the original topo solid it's just gonna be right there on top of it so it can't even go below the topo solid the only thing we can edit about it right now uh, edit in it right now is uh, the material so let's go with something a bit earthy like i don't know yeah sand would work yeah sand okay let's pick the sand option and there it is our subdivision now when i look at it it kind of looks like that a uh, gingerbread cookie from the shrek movie or a fidget spinner it looks more like fidget spinner i don't know the next thing i'm going to show you is how to split your topo solid which is an option we did not have in the topography uh, in Revit before so select your topo solid and use the split tool We'd either split or we could choose, for example, a shape for uh, the area we're going to uh, split. I'm going to choose a circle since we're already using a lot of that in this tutorial. I'm going to try to select it and slide it uh, towards the edge. Because as long as your, uh, the area that you're splitting doesn't uh, split your topo solids into two uh, topo solids, uh, you're fine. So yeah, we could just delete that. It's true that it is uh, touching the edges of your topo solid, but that's not a problem. I'm gonna remove this slapped area. The only cool thing about subdivisions is that they follow the points of the topo solid. They don't function like a floor. And yes, for example, let's uh, create a floor on our uh, topo solid. Let's create a structural floor. And you will see that it functions like a regular uh, floor. Let's go with a rectangular shape. Okay, it picked the baseline of the uh, topo solid. So let's just try to offset it. Change its height offset to about three meters nice and you can see that uh, the floor is simply piercing through the topo solid and not following the points and that's the difference between it and the subdivision uh, other than the fact that it's a floor okay and uh, next i'm gonna create a uh, wall change the base level to zero yeah i need to lift up my Okay, let's slide it up a bit. And now let's change the base offset to a zero. And apply. And that way you can create elements uh, in your topo solid. Uh, it goes the same way with pads and with the structural columns and so on. The last thing we're going to go through is how to create topo solids from an imported file such as a cat file you can simply press on create from a cat file pick up your your uh, file and then it will generate the topo solid and the same thing goes with the csv file you'll just have your file your csv file that has all the coordinates for your points and you just choose it and revit will automatically uh, generate your topo solid and yeah that's it for today's tutorial if you're interested in softwares like Navisworks or Dynamo, you could check the rest of my playlists. And as always, thank you for watching and uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you like this content. Thank you.